AAA AFS meeting in particular uh, is arguably the most important single scientific meeting there is in terms of the breadth and the depth of things that it's covered. And it's just its overall prestige. So, yes, it's very important that MSU be represented and represented well. I'm Bruce Dale, and I'm professor of chemical engineering. The topic of my presentation is energy efficiency of biofuels. It takes us a certain amount of energy that required to invest to produce coal or petroleum or natural gas. And the difference between what we have to invest and what's left is called the energy return on investment. Good energy return on investment, a minimum energy return on investment is kind of like five to one. In the early days of oil, it was like 100 to one. Current oil, though, is more like 10 or 15 to one. As important as energy overall is, but the critical key energy for us is liquid fuels, what you put in your gas tank, because that's where our society is vulnerable. And so you can, uh, I think you could deal with us a, uh, uh, a system with a lower overall energy return on investment, you know, something with five to one or maybe even a little less, if you gave you a lot of liquid fuel. We're doing quite well with biofuel specifically, but it's not appreciated because a lot of the rhetoric around this talks only about total energy return. And that's important, but it's not the only issue. It turns out that uh, uh, biodiesel from soy or uh, ethanol from corn have a very good, probably 20 to one or more, liquid fuel out to liquid fuel in ratio. And the, the problem is how to measure it, how to develop metrics that are relatively straightforward, relatively easy to calculate that we won't spend decades arguing about while we continue to burn coal and natural gas and build up the greenhouse gases. Well, I sure hope it serves as a wake-up call. Uh, I hope it serves as a wake-up call to the community of energy analysts, which have been pretty narrowly focused, frankly, on this energy return on investment, Not, with some exceptions, of course. Uh, and we need to broaden the metrics, but more importantly, we need fairly simple, fairly easy to calculate, fairly non-controversial metrics, so we can start making some doggone progress. <laughs> the alternative to not acting at least reasonably wisely now is we continue to drift. We continue to burn coal continue to burn lots of petroleum, we continue to import more and more petroleum. I don't think that's sustainable either. Uh, and so, uh, but the, the problem is we get bogged down in I think what are essentially academic and regulator debates and we don't make any progress. Mm -hmm.